state sequence is used to define a series of test states for special test applications. With this model, we can generate a series of states to test the tripping time. Here is task bar. Here is tool bar. Here is parameter setting area. Here is diagram display area. Here is task list display area. Here is test result display area. Here is test state display area. Click parameter button to enter into group parameter page. Group test parameter page along with the default settings will display. DC offset can be added to the output signal if select yes here. Tau refers to time constant. Here we define the binary input trigger condition for the current test state. Click OK to save the settings. Select the state you want to use in the state display area. Use the remove button to delete the states you don't want to use. User can also add states easily by clicking the add button. The newly added state will display in the states display area immediately. To easy the setting, when testing impedance relay, a short circuit calculation tool is provided. Here, to set the fault type, including grounding fault, face-to-face -face fault, face-to-face -face grounding fault, and three-phase fault. Here, we select the presentation of the impedance. Here, we select the test mode. There are three modes available. Constant current, constant voltage, and constant system impedance. Here, we set the value of the grounding compensation coefficient. Based on the settings here, the required voltage, current, and phase angle setting will be set for the current test state automatically. Here, to set the amplitude and the angle, of voltage and current of the present state. Here, you can edit the name of the present state. We can define trigger condition for each test state. And when this trigger condition is met, the present test state will be switched to the next one. Here, we set the fault duration. When this time is set here, the output time will be extended even after relay trips. System frequency displayed here.
we set the fault state similar to the previous one. In this state, we select the binary input as the trig mode. Do not need the extend time here. Check all the settings. If the settings are OK, switch to the assessment. Here, you can define the criterion. Relative error and absolute error are available. Click wiring button, we can see wiring diagram. Left is our test set, and the right is the test object. The wiring diagram is made based on the information we put in message. We set phase A. B, C, Z, N of the voltage here. We set phase A, B, C, N of the current here. We set chipping A, B, C, and we closing here. We can set the remainder information here. We choose popping message before test. Click OK. We will get the connection diagram, and it can help you to check wiring connection on the spot. Here, goose function is optional. Click F2 button to start the test. OK, the test is finished successfully, and we can get the chipping time in the test result display area.
open the real coding function. This function is used to real code the test process after the test is over. The binary input output status during the test process is also real coded. The real coding window provides some simple tools to better view the real coding display. The instantaneous, RMS, and harmonic values for voltage and current at the cursor place can be displayed at the same time. User can define the corner of the voltage and the current by themselves. Through these settings, we can set the maximum range for displaying the voltage and the current for better view. The time difference between two cursors and also the absolute time for each cursor position are also be displayed. Move mouse pointer to the waveform display area and right click the mouse button. Then we see the following menu will appear. Select Save as Come Trade to export the current waveform and the binary input output status displayed as Come Trade file. After saved the comp trade file, close the real coding window. In the task list, right click the mouse button and select the Save as template file. And we will be asked to select the folder where we want to save the template. Rename the file and save it. Now I can find the template file on my desktop. In drop down menu, there are two types of real port for selection. RPT format and word format are available. This type of real port does not allow any edit operation. And it contains also the template information of the model used. Word format report is allowed for any editing. In the drop down menu, we can select setting to configure operation. What's to be included in the report? Select the items we want to include in the report and click OK to confirm the operation. Then, the new real part is only content the items that you chose. The setting is effective in both format.
customer can use the real port and the template at any time. You can close this setting and reopen by clicking the template button in the start page. Selecting the template file from the folder where the template file was saved. Then we will enter into the test page automatically with the test models. All the test parameters and relay settings in the saved template will also be uploaded here. Click the report button in the start page, selecting the report file from the folder. Included in this report, the test parameters and the relay settings in the saved report will also be uploaded here. That's all. Thank you so much for your attention.